everybody knows that you're supposed to grow cover crops. The issue is only 4% of farmers grow cover crops. Why? So few farmers do so because of the extra inputs necessary, the wear and tear on the machinery, just the extra work in general. It ends up not being worth it, even though they know it might be the best thing to do for the environment. Covercrest removes that barrier by providing an economic incentive to growing a cover crop, where you don't have to give up farming any food crops, but you're adding a third crop that can be used for biodiesel applications. Covercrest grain, when crushed, creates two products, an oil product and a meal product. The oil product has a very low carbon intensity score that's desired by the renewable fuel markets. And the meal product has a very high protein profile that's going to be a great fit for the livestock market. We're making a whole new crop. It's brand new. And going from struggling to grow a single plant in a greenhouse setting to just a couple days ago, watching 150 acres be commercially planted of golden grain covercress. It's like looking at my own Grand Canyon. The reward is taking better care of our soil so that the land continues to produce, not only for us here in the United States, but helping feed the world. We are expected to be on well over 10 million acres. The opportunity is the production of close to 20 million barrels of renewable fuel. Seeing Covercrest planted at scale like this gives me hope for the future to find new solutions to old problems before they get worse. <laughs>